What's up, movie lovers? This is my second time recording it because um, I got this distracted for the first time. But and my hat looks a little weird. Whatever. Um, we're gonna be doing the Final Destination ranking, and this is the very first ranking I've ever done on the channel. It's gonna be from worst to best, and the reason I'm doing these rankings is one because I like doing them. And two, if you don't want to sit through all the reviews, you can just give my short condensed thoughts in this. So, we're going to see what Rotten Tomatoes thinks, what Rotten Tomatoes thinks is the worst and best movies. And the worst is The Foundless Nation from 2009, which is the fourth movie with 29%. And Foundless Nation 5 from 2011 is the best with 60%. Only fresh rating in the entire franchise. So, we are going to start off with the worst. Number five is going to be The Final Destination. I hate this movie. It is really bad. There is two good things. The ending and the opening credits. And there, well, there's also two decent kills. Um, they were really funny because of how stupid they were. But, otherwise, everything else is bad. The acting is bad. There's no story at all. The characters are all just like single traits. Like they don't even have personality. It's just this guy's racist. This guy's a mechanic, and that's it. And the deaths—they're really fast. They're really lazy. There's no suspense. It's all just CGI. And the 3D is like really distracting in this. I didn't actually say that in my review. The thing about doing 3D horror movies is most of them, when you watch them in 2D. You can just tell they're 3D because it's always like things flying like that at the camera. And uh, another movie in, in the series actually does 3D right, but we're going to get to that later. And um, the premonition is really bad because it's just the other movies, the premonition, like roller coasters, airplanes, highways, and bridges. Yeah, something bad could happen there. But usually it doesn't, and that was, that's what made those so scary. Final Destination 4, you see a bunch of race cars, and then you're like, well, of course one of them is going to crash. They crash a lot. I'm not saying they crash all the time, but it's just not as scary, which is sad to say, actually. Um, number three for me, or three, four, four is Final Destination 3. Now, the jumping quality between the fourth movie and the third one is actually pretty high for me. Um, on this Nation 3, the characters are all stereotypes, you know, like the jock and the valley girls, but they feel like real people. They feel like people you would have actually met in high school, they're, and they're acted well for the parts that they have. Um... And the premonition is great with the roller coaster, and the movie has a really good feeling of like, like a teen feel, like a teen slash movie because it's all all the scenarios are stuff teenagers do. You know, like get drive through at fast food restaurants and go tan and work in the weight room and ride roller coasters. Not really work at hardware stores for most of us, at least. It's not like every teenager works there. Um. And the deaths are really good, but the one thing I don't like about the deaths is they have good payoffs, but most of them aren't really suspenseful. It's just like, alright, that happened really quick, but at least they look cool, unlike Final Destination 4. They're actually good. Um, overall, Final Destination 3 is pretty good, though. And number 3 and 2, I had a hard time deciding. But I decided to go with this movie for number 3. Final Destination 5. I love this movie. It is very suspenseful, which is great after the fourth movie. It has a good, dark, gritty tone. I actually really like the soundtrack. The ending credits with ACDC are amazing. The movie ties all the other movies together perfectly. And the plot twist at the end is great. It has a bunch of little, little subtle nods to the previous movies, which are really good. It's not in your face like, hey, remember when this happened? Um, the characters all feel real and and they're like average everyday adults and they all have like, human issues 
their main problem isn't that death is after them, because most of them actually just try to ignore it, and then some others go like full on crazy, like, we gotta stop this, I'm gonna try to kill you, stuff like that. Um, the Premonition with, on the bridge is my favorite of the franchise. The second movie's up there with the highway, but no, a highway pileup is just a bunch of car flips and explosions, which are great. But Final Destination 5, the premonition has more, like more variety in the deaths. And the deaths in this movie are great. They're all very suspenseful. At least the first three are. Because you think it's going to go one way, and then it's another way. And it's great. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. And the the ending, like the climax of this movie, well, the, I already talked about the ending, but the climax of this movie is great. Because it's like, actually a human antagonist. I mean, death is there too, obviously, but it's, it's different to see a human antagonist. And they add a new rule about death's design, where if you kill somebody who wasn't meant to die, then you get to take their life and live how long, however long they were supposed to, which I really like. And, yeah. So, now, number two is going to be on Destination 2. It was almost five, but I decided I like this one better than five. And the reason is because it feels different. Like, Final Destination 5 feel, has a very similar tone to the original and 2 feels different. It feels like a very fun movie. It's like, it's more fun. It's not as dark, but at least it's a good kind of fun. It's not like stupid. But it still has a little bit of that dark atmosphere. The premonition's amazing. The characters are really entertaining. And there's a good variety in like their personalities. Because there's like a stoner and a girl that really only cares about her job. And a single mother and her 15 year old son. And a cop. Really cool. The deaths are great, really gory, over the top. That's what this franchise does so well. And this one, I think, all of all of them uses things that you think are safe, and then people get killed with them. And climax, eh, it was actually pretty cool. Like in the hospital, that was a that was a great place to have it take place. And the ending is it's just really funny but also kind of scary, but at the same time it's so stupid, but it's just funny. And number one is the original. I can actually see an argument for why any of the sequels are better, two, three, or five, not four though. So I guess not all of the sequels, but the original Final Destination is still the best to me. It doesn't have the best kills of the franchise, I think the second movie might. But it's the best overall movie. Premonition's amazing. The deaths are very suspenseful. And you actually feel bad for most of the characters. Because the characters are well written. And well acted. There's dark atmosphere. And this is really the only movie where you feel like death is actually stalking. Because there's like shadows and the wind. Like all the other movies it doesn't really feel like death is watching them. There's this one kill in particular in a house. I'm not going to give it away in case you haven't seen any of it of the movies, but it feels like a slasher movie without a killer actually there, and that's great that they could do that. So, for a recap, and yeah, I think the original is the best, so for a recap, number five, Found This Nation 4, number four, Found This Nation 3, Three found this nation five, number two found this nation two, and number one the original found this nation. So, see me next time. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to review, but see you in the next video. Bye.